Think about how you want your obituary to read. Because that's the comment Governor Ralph Northam had for unvaccinated Virginians during a news conference this afternoon. He says 60% of people in the state are fully vaccinated, but that's not enough. Allison Basil shares his warning today, along with information on the Pfizer booster shot rollout. COVID-19 comes with a hefty cost. Five billion dollars in cost to treat a disease that could be prevented by a free vaccine. Governor Ralph Northam says unvaccinated COVID patients are filling hospitals and stopping Virginia from moving forward. You are absolutely hurting other people. Northam says 80% of people across the state received at least one dose of the vaccine, but he says between today and the end of June, unvaccinated people helped spread the virus. From a handful of cases a day to upwards of 4,000 cases a day. Along with this push, he's encouraging Pfizer vaccine booster shots for select people. Last week, the CDC and FDA recommended boosters for people 65 and older, people 18 to 64 with underlying medical conditions, and those who work in an environment where they are at higher risk of COVID exposure. Pretty much doing them nonstop all day. The prescription shop in Williamsburg is already putting boosters in arms. On Thursday, we probably did a little over 80. Friday, it was 106. Co-owner Jade Ranger says patients are calling to see if they're eligible for this booster or the additional dose that's for the immunocompromised. Maybe you're a transplant patient or you're undergoing chemotherapy. Dr. Danny Avula says about 700,000 Virginians are eligible for the Pfizer booster. Approximately 350,000 of those are healthcare workers. He says there may be a need for more vaccination sites by the end of October with the anticipation of Moderna approving a booster, but the state isn't there yet. And Governor North Northam says Johnson & Johnson is also doing research on a possible booster shot. He encourages people to talk with their health care provider if they have questions about booster eligibility. In Norfolk, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Governor Northam also pushed Virginians to help by giving their time. He says the Virginia Medical Reserve Corps is always looking for volunteers to help distribute vaccines.